Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Retief and my little 1.1 channel review of a talk about my experiences with all my flying all over the world. Um, a lot of people and a lot of my subscribers do like it, like to see what the uh, airline is about, which is the best airline and which is the worst airline. And of course, the food, the seat, the lounge, and all of those nice things and sometimes not so nice things about flying. And um, well, this one is a little bit of both. A little bit of a nice, a little bit of a rant, a little bit of a confusion. And I was quite surprised to find this confusion on Air France. I've flown them so many times over the last couple of years always a uh, good service everything was always well near perfect now after the you know what um not allowed to mention that word anymore but when i um, booked my flight via klm to johannesburg and back um, to belgium i use uh, air france it's a parent company so um, it was quite an easy experience booking the flights and um, about a week before the flight, I got an email directly from Air France that the flight that I am on from Luanda, Angola to Paris was cancelled. I was a little bit confused. I used Point de Noir, no, Point de Noir um, as my destination. I thought to myself, I don't I know what's going on. Contact the travel agent. They were also a little bit confused. It turns out it was a stopover, but um, I was not in that stopover. I'm not getting off at that stopover. So why Air France sent me an email that uh, the flight was cancelled? So lots of confusion. And after some uh, back and forth emails, they realized they should not have sent that to me, which was a little bit strange. But anyway, that was the start of my flight. I was still looking forward to it. I got to the airport in Luanda, that was about seven, half past seven in the evening. Um, lots and lots of people outside, but once you are in the terminal, I didn't want to take a video um, for some security reasons as well. I know a lot of the staff don't like to be formed, but I can just tell you it was a smooth process. Check-in took about three, four minutes, went straight to uh, security. That was about 10 minutes there. And immigration took about five minutes uh, to get through the line and straight up the stairs and straight up the stairs right into the departure area. I was looking quite forward to looking at some whiskey. And as I got to the top of the stairs, lights out. Pitch dark. The whole airport went completely dark. Even the runway area, um, the A, A side, completely dark. I stood there for about, I think, five, six minutes when the lights go on and um, I could proceed to the lounge. Nice big lounge, um, a nice little snack before you fly and uh, partake in Air France's fantastic food cuisine. But of course, um, yeah, very bit disappointed in the drink selection. Um, a couple of sweet drinks. Alcohol-wise, forget about it. The champagne, sorry, ran out. Um, if you want a little beer, sorry, no beers. If you want to have a little bit of white wine, sorry, no white wine. The lady that worked in a bar was um, the most unfriendly person that I've seen in my life. They, she just didn't want to be there. And um, of course, um, quite rude to a lot of people. Wi-Fi, non-existing. So a little bit of a disappointment in this place. Um, enough place to sit and of course, a nice place to relax. Some of the people went to the duty-free shop and bought their own happy beers. to get on board. Seat looked quite nice. But unfortunately, it's very cramped. Um, not a lot of space for your feet. Um, you can actually change the channels on the television without even touching the remote. The TV screen is quite close to you. But um, hard seat, not very comfortable. So I was a little bit disappointed.
and of course um, all flights has to start off with a bubbles they gave us the menu uh, quite an extensive menu um, pause if you need to get more information but i was happy with the selection i only had two whiskies on offer you can go check for yourself which one would you have picked for a perfect pre-food drink Of course, I'm a steak man, so I picked the steak and um, sitting in row three, I didn't think it is, will be possible that there's no available, but yep, I was informed only option that I have is um, the chicken. So I was a little bit disappointed in that and I think the air host realized that I was disappointed. So eventually the starters arrive, um, quite tasty, I was a little bit surprised, they put everything on one plate, smoked salmon, mm, not my favorite, foie gras, yeah I do like foie gras, um, yeah, that is uh, sorry, but yeah I do like And of course the dreaded chicken arrived, well look at it, is that appetizing, is that something that you would like to eat? I was very disappointed in that and of course they realized the disappointment and came back with a steak yeah well unfortunately the steak was not edible it was tough as nails uh, halfway I had to reject it and um, yeah that was not a good meal breakfast time a little bit of an egg sausage and um, that was the meal on air front as for my final thoughts now I had a look online to see where Air France is situated with the best airline in the world according to Skytrax and they are um, located at 7th in the world. Now the experience that I had on this flight was definitely not a reflection of number 7 in the world. Maybe 5 years ago that I would definitely put him close to the top. But from the experience that I had on this flight was definitely not a worthy flight for number seven in the world. Maybe a different um, regions, maybe they had a different experience, but for the price paid on this flight, I am not convinced that they are worthy at number seven. So hopefully I can go back to them in a different um, regional flight, maybe going to a different country. But um, this one, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, I was so much looking forward to that French cuisine, but disappointed a little bit. So thank you very much for watching. Um, and of course, please remember to like and subscribe. It's not always about the whiskey a little bit of the traveling as well i do like a good travel and i do like a good um, duty free experience i will also put a link to for, for you at the end card so that you can see a full video on what is on offer at the duty free shop which is already online so thank you very much for watching please remember to like and subscribe and see you next time cheers